Hey everyone, William here from Cake. Today we'll look at the biggest mistake people make when trying to measure a class 2 capacitor, such as X5R or X7R capacitors. Let's take a look at this 10 microfarad X7R with 10% tolerance and measure it over our LCR. We get around 8.79 microfarads. This is out of spec. We should be seeing much better tolerance than this for a 10% part. So the X7R is a class two dielectric and due to its ferroelectric properties, it's very sensitive to DC voltage changes. But we have a zero volt bias here and it shouldn't matter. But we are sending a one kilohertz, one volt RMS signal through the capacitor to measure it. And we can see that the voltage being measured at the capacitor is not exactly one volt. It's around 178 millivolts. This is happening again due to the class two dielectric exhibiting really low impedance which is much lower than the source impedance of the LCR meter. Now we have created a voltage divider in this measurement, and this is throwing off our capacitor measurement. In order to fix this measurement, we need to raise the AC voltage as seen by the capacitor to one volt RMS. We can increase our AC voltage, and we're trying to get this to be one volt. A bit more. And now we can see a much more accurate reading for a capacitor around 9.79 microfarads. And this will match the proper manufacturing test settings. I just showed you how to do this manually, but we can always have the LCR do this automatically for us by turning on ALC or auto level correction. This will automatically adjust the source voltage to match the target voltage across the capacitor. So we go here, set our target level back to one volt and turn ALC on. And now we can get the most accurate reading for our measurement of a capacitor at 9.85 microfarads, which is well within the 10% tolerance. Now for some extra facts and tips. Class 1 dielectrics such as C0G capacitors do not need ALC on to get an accurate capacitor reading. This is because the material is paraelectric and not ferroelectric. Their impedance is orders of magnitudes greater than the source impedance, so we won't see the large voltage drop as seen by class 2 dielectrics. ALC is great, and there really is no reason to turn it off, except when you try to recalibrate for short. Your test will fail with an error message, and this is because the ALC is trying to reach a target voltage, but there's a short present, so it can never reach the target value. So, just make sure you turn off ALC when you run your short calibration and turn it back on afterwards. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new, and like always, stay curious.